All right, my name is Colt Scott. I'm going to be the rep for the National Ninja League Finals preteens course. The time limit for this course is going to be a minute, 20 seconds. Be fast. We've got Colin here. He's going to demo each obstacle. For most of these obstacles, unless we say otherwise, red is on, black is off. Don't be confused. First obstacle is going to be the ascending steps. All you have to do is run up these steps, grab onto the rope. Once you're on that rope, that obstacle is complete. Clear. Obstacle two, swinging barrels. Same thing, hands only obstacle. Don't use your feet, grab onto the red. Once you land on this block, pass the forward plane, this obstacle is complete. Clear. Obstacle three, the dancing stones. This is a hands and feet obstacle. No touching this, only the reds. Pass that plane, land on the block, obstacle is complete. Clear. On this one, hands and feet are allowed. You're allowed to grab onto the red to get some swing going. But once you get onto these two tubes, no legs, hands only. These do spin, so we suggest you may want to cross grip. Have you ready? There's going to be someone here to hold this out of the way so you don't get your feet caught on it. Good. Once you get on this block and pass the forward lane, you're good to go. He's going to get a second to rest because after this obstacle, you will not touch the ground until you get to the buzzer. This next obstacle is the quad steps, of course, or the ascending steps. Run around. For the preteens, hands and feet are allowed. The ending of this obstacle is when you contact that rope. The next obstacle begins. Once you make contact with that bar, slide down, grab onto the next bar, slide down. Of course, no wrapping your legs on the bar, only grab the red. Yeah. When you get to the end here, there's going to be a rope here to assist you onto the wing nut. This obstacle is complete when you make contact with that wing nut. This does not mark the end of the slider, only the wing nut does. Once you get on the wing nut, Swing through. Incidental contact on the black bars is fine, but if I see you putting your legs on there to hold yourself, I'm going to call you out. This obstacle is complete once you're on the platform and hit that buzzer, marking the end of the course. If you don't hear the buzzer go off, you're not done. You have to press down on that button. If you slap it and walk off, you're still going. Colin, you ready? And that marks the end. Of course, the car course begins when you see the white light. You're going to see your name down there, the time limit, again, 120. It'll flash 3, 2, 1. After that, you go when you see the white light. That settles it. See you guys soon.